This is the Harbor Freight 125 PSI 3 8 inch airflow regulator with a dial gauge number 68231. Skew numbers right there. This is for reducing the pressure on a two stage compressor because most of the tools, the air tools run at 120 PSI. So 175 is a little bit too much. Could possibly damage some of the tools. I wasn't really sure about this one because it says maximum pressure 145. I called the tech control guy, they didn't really know. He thought that it was probably the most pressure that it could reduce. But I went ahead and bought it anyways because it's pretty cheap. It was only $12.99. So 13 bucks, it was worth a shot. And it has a, um, it's either a 30 day or 90 day guarantee. So if it does get damaged or broken, you can just take it back and get a new one or get a refund for it. Here's the valve right here, or the airflow regulator. I've got it hooked into a, uh, filter here because I didn't used to have to have a pressure reducer I just had a one stage compressor so 135 was the maximum PSI in that one and that was fine for air tools because most of the time you know you drain it down real quick to way below like you know 120 even 100 PSI and then it would kick back on at uh, 90 PSI what's nice about the two stage is the lowest that it gets is like uh, I think 135 and then it kicks back in and goes back up to 175 so you never have a low air pressure situation like you do with a one stage for running all your air tools now one thing about this one is it's been working great I've had this thing for three months haven't had any problems with it but you have to make sure that you get this connected the right way. There's a small little arrow right here. It's stamped into the, the casting right there. I don't know if you can see it. But it points in this direction, which is the airflow. So make sure you, you connect that to your uh, outlet coming into it, and you should be all right. And this thing does pretty good at maintaining 120 PSI. That's where it's set right now. I could set a little bit higher. But that's pretty good for me. Okay. And the way you set it is you uh, push this thing in and then you crank it to the right. Oh, I had it. I had it set already. So you pull it out. Crank to the right if you want to increase the pressure, and then lock it in to where you want it. So it's been working great, no problems, and it's cheap, which I like. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on something, because you don't know if it's going to fail anyways or how it's going to work. So right now I do recommend this. If there's any problems with it and it uh, goes out on me, I'll make an update on this and let you guys know.